Hello everyone and welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies Part 3. Let's just get right into it. Okay, we're back in. Yes, we're speedrunning this, okay? So this is still disabled from last time. Let's just get right into it again. So, we're back in the literature club. We just made our poem and let's see where this goes. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Siri and I were last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Oh, Preston, I'm glad to see you here again. Who knew that something so simple would warrant so much thanks? First Monica and now Yeri. I know that it may be overwhelming to be thrown into a new hobby so suddenly, much less an organization centered around that hobby. So don't hesitate to let me know if you ever need any help. Um, or any other club member for that matter. That is to say, feel free to ask any one of us for assistance. Right, thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Don't worry though, it's not like I've never read anything before. <laughs> right? I've, not, I've read things before, I've read like, what did I read? Nagatoro, right? That, that counts, right? I even remembered to write a poem for today, if you'll believe it. We'll believe it when we see it. Hey, it's not like I need a university degree to write a poem. It was just like another school assignment. Although it might be a bit little new to me, it's not that hard. It's not that hard to write a bad poem, y you mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're right, <laughs> but shut up. You haven't read it. Okay, you know what? I wrote the best poem you could ever believe. I wrote in, what did I write in? I wrote in Joy. I wrote there in bed. What else did I write in? <laughs> About so many beautiful words. Oh my god. She's got me there. And that's why I never said I wrote a good poem. Natsuki smirks at me, seemingly pleased that I'm not offended by her teasing. Well, good is often subjective when it comes to subjects like these. I'm sure you did fine, Preston. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. Try not to overhype my work though, <laughs> right? Yeah, Yuri, if you keep your expectations low, you'll never be disappointed. Okay, N Natsuki, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Besides, I bet this is the first extracurricular Preston's done since high school started. So extra work is probably really foreign to him. Again, she's not wrong, but she doesn't have to say it like that. Natsuki, you're being unfairly harsh. Preston, what would you say your main hobbies are? Wow, she's really putting me on the spot here. I know I'm playing into your teasing right now, but yes, I spend a lot of my time playing games and watching anime. Like me playing this game right now and watching anime, except I don't actually watch that much anime nowadays. Because I'm editing, whatever, you get what I mean. And that's all you need to know. Shut up. That's a bit rich coming from someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. What? The Tsuki splutters to a halt. Looks like a certain someone knows how to dish it out, but can't take it. Manga is literature. Yeah, I mean, Nagatora is literature, clearly. It's like... A masterpiece? It needs to be put in the museum? Okay, I'm sorry, I need to stop saying that. Like, swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. President always gives it his best, as long as he's having fun. He's always been there when I needed. When we were kids, he'd always be around to help me with stuff. <laughs> oh, are you two childhood friends? I glance at Sayori, despite her cheery recollection of our childhood memories. Just then... Yuri's question is a reminder that we haven't spent much time together in a long time. It's a tad awkward. Yeah, we've known each other for a while, haven't we? We smile at each other. I'm really hoping that we can use the club to reconnect. Such a history with one another. I imagine you've shared much together. You could say that. Would you believe Sayori is still as clumsy now as she was 10 years ago? Hey, Mini, that's not true. Oh, need I tell you about the time you tried to cook lunch and almost set the house on the fire? Her face turns pink. And she rushes to interrupt me. Anyway, I'm sure you two could be just as good of friends. After all, you're both in the literature club now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look forward to it. Yuri looks hopeful at hearing this. Although, I can't help but wonder. Given the maturity and intelligence she carries so elegantly. And how her passion for reading is much stronger than my own. Will it be as easy as Yuri thinks it is? Still, it's worth a try, at least. Yay! Oh, oh! Yuri even brought something for you today. You know? Huh? Wait, Sayori? Uh, me? <laughs> um, it's not much, really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. Whatever it is, I'm sure I like it. What is it, Yuri? Uh, Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. I was going to wait to give it to you at the appropriate time, but... Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. Now I've ruined the surprise. The two girls both looked awfully down. It's fine, it's fine, no worries. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So this is still a pleasant surprise to me. Just knowing that you went through the effort to get me something makes me feel really welcomed. No matter what, 
I'm sure it'll make me happy. Is that so? Of course! Thanks for being so considerate, Yuri. You're welcome. It was the least I could do. Anyway, if that's the case, here it is. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book! I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention. Even if you don't usually read, that's pretty nice of you. And we could... You know... Discuss it, if you want it. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, let's discuss it. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? It, it is really cute. It's ridiculously cute. She even picked out a book she thinks I might possibly like, despite me not reading much. Yuri fa- But I'm abruptly cut off by Natsuki. You didn't want him to feel left out? What's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to say that he doesn't like my books or something? Because that's not true. He freaking loves manga, just like me. Right, Preston? God damn it. It looks like another Yuri Natsuki argument is cropping up again. Oh well, in the news today, uh, Yuri and Natsuki having another argument. Are we surprised? No, not at all. I glance over at Yuri to find a variety of different emotions running over her face. She seems conflicted between standing up for herself and backing down to keep the pace. After a beat, she opens her mouth to speak. Her resolve strengthened. Natsuki, that's not what I meant at all. I was simply referring to the fact that Preston may not have much of a literature collection himself given that he has said that he is not a reader. Giving him a book in a totally different genre would benefit him in broadening his knowledge of the literary world. Yuri suddenly appears to notice that all eyes are on her. Uh... <laughs> what is that sound? I apologize if I worded that harshly. No, you're fine, Yuri. While I definitely do love manga, of course, Nagatoro, I think that it would do me well to read different things too once in a while. I... Seeming to sense that she can't win the argument, Natsuki almost visibly backs down. Her outspoken nature really does make up for her physically small stature. I'm... uh, whatever. Natsuki... Guys, let's just stop fighting! Everyone has their own super good taste in literature, so we shouldn't keep arguing over it. I'm sure that I enjoy everyone's recommendations equally as much. After all, you guys are all smart, and definitely more experienced in literature... In literature... <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure that I'll enjoy everyone's recommendations equally as much. After all, you guys are all smart and definitely more experienced in literature than me. I'm just gonna say that I wasn't trying to attack you or whatever. It's just that there are a lot of people who judge manga without even trying to read it themselves. So yeah, I guess that's the closest thing we'll get to an apology from Natsuki. But that's okay. And with that, the tension in the room slowly dissipates. It feels as though everyone in the room was holding in their breath until now. Yuri quietly hands me the copy of the book she's holding. Well, thanks Yuri. You're welcome. You should read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. After a brief pause, the girls move on to do their own things. Man, I seem to be the harbinger of awkwardness when it comes to Natsuki and Yuri. Yeah, it kinda seems that way. It's kinda bra moment right now. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off the scheduled activities for the club. Like the poetry thing, I've already steeled myself for the critique I'll probably be receiving. But it seems that we have some downtime before then. Ah oh well, looks like we won't be able to just immediately get it over with. Huh, <sighs> what are the others doing right now? Sierra so and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Probably discussing club matters. Given that they're president and vice president. As expected, Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for his chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. A few huffs of annoyance sound from her direction every once in a while. Hmm, everyone seems to be doing their own thing today. Natsuki is rummaging around in the cupboard, and Yuri is sitting by herself, silently engrossed in her book. Meanwhile, Monika and Sayuri seem to be talking animately about something. I'm not really in the mood to read anything. I slump down in the nearest desk. Closing my eyes, I end up listening in on Sayuri's conversation with Monika. The problem with Literature Club is that it just doesn't sound particularly exciting. Plus, people probably have their own perceptions about what the club will be like. I'm a bit worried they might assume we're all pretentious and... haughty. Yeah, it's a real shame that people can't look past their assumptions. Still, I'm confident we can come up with something. We can't just give up. The festival is a real chance to show everyone what literature is all about. After all, we have such a variety here. Everyone's poems and writing styles are so different. 
Natsuki loves manga and Yuri is really into horror. There should be something here for everyone, you know? Agreed! I'm glad everyone has such different tastes. It really helps bring the club to life. That's exactly what we need everyone else to see. We just need to find a way of showing how fun literature can be. Something that can... Something that really stands out and appeals to their creative sides. Hmm... That doesn't solve the problem though. Huh? What do you mean? Well, even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, I don't think people will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So I think it's more important to figure out how to get people interested in the first place, right? Honestly, this conversation is pretty good, makes sense. It's not just some dumb things. I kind of was expecting Sayori to just be like, yes, we do this funny thing, haha, <laughs> it's gonna work, right? And then, once they're here, we can do whatever to appeal to their creative sides. Huh, this is a side of Sayori I haven't seen before. She's really taking this seriously and giving it a lot of thought. Yeah, it really is. Excellent point, Sayori. Where would I be without my vice president? Okay, do you think food will get the job done? I can practically hear Sayori's face light up, even though I have my eyes closed. Food? What kind? You like that idea, huh? Okay. Okay. Okay, I was thinking. Cupcakes! Natsuki would love that. Good thinking. Her cupcakes are so good! Ah! <laughs> what? That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> Seriously, they. Seriously, they um, really help me write. Do they? Okay, cupcakes will do fine. All this talk about food has made me hungry. And wait, don't forget we still have to sort out the details of the festival itself. I tune out to the rest of the conversation as tiredness takes a stronger hold on me. Sayori is still her usual self, bubbly and goofy, I guess some people never change. It brings a smile to my face. Although, I was surprised to see her so dedicated. I always remember her as the kind of person who just improvised things. Kinda like me, actually. Oh, <laughs> that's close! <laughs> Hello, Sayori. <laughs> I didn't expect to see Sayori's face taking up my vision when I opened my eyes, neither. Pretty nice though, very cute sight. Just the best dreamy sight you could wake up to. I nearly fell out of my chair. Wake up, sleepyhead. Gee, Sayori, you scared me. <laughs> sorry. Hang on, I'm not sorry at all. Why were you napping? This is the literature club, not the napping club. Hey, we need the napping club, you know? Sometimes we gotta represent <laughs> represent the napping club, what? Wait, our school has a napping club? Hey, don't try to change the subject, mister. The others won't like it if they catch you sleeping. They're gonna catch you lacking, you know? I don't want you getting in trouble. Ah, uh, Sayori. You've not changed one bit. Huh? You always used to look out for me. Back when we used to hang out. <laughs> I remember that. Do you remember that time when we went on a bike ride to that park? It feels like such a long time ago. Yeah, I think I do actually. It was in the summer. You're talking about the time I fell off my bike and hurt my knee, right? This happened in real life for me as well, what the hell? Do I actually... Did I actually meet Sayuri in real life, Nani? Yeah, that one! You are in a lot of pain! But you are trying to act like it was no big deal. You were so silly. I had to go and get a band-aid. That memory makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. The fact I could tell straight away which memory she was talking about makes me wonder if we have a psychotic bond or something. Good times, good times. By the way, did you know you have a big toothpaste stain on your collar? Where? I guess they didn't add on the sprite, whatever, fair enough. Huh? No, I didn't. She nervously picks at the stain of her hands as I stand up and get a closer look at her. Wait a sec. Your collar is sticking up a bit. Your hair doesn't look brushed either. Were you in a rush this morning? Ah! Uh, I reach out and run my fingers down the messy part of her hair in a vain attempt to straighten it out. Her hair is really soft and smells faintly of cinnamon. I'm probably making this worse, you really need a brush, Sayori. No, I don't. My hair is just natural like this. Okay, okay, maybe it isn't, but it's super hard to get right. I give up with her hair and try to wipe off the stain with my fingers. Much like with her hair, I'm not having much luck. Come on, Sayori, you can't fool me. I know I've not seen much of you over the past years, but I still know you. I can tell when you're being in a rush. People wouldn't even notice these things. 
They would. They just wouldn't say anything because they don't want to embarrass you. I give up with the stain and step back, looking at her blazer. But luckily for you, I'm not bothered about that. Also, why don't you button up your blazer? She shrugs. It was too stuffy last time I tried it. With a sigh, I start buttoning it up. Ho ho ho! <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. I freeze. Now that I think about it, the situation is a little suggestive? Maybe? After all, my hands are very close to her... chest. Ah, oh, come on, Preston. Get it together. You're just helping out a friend, that's all. Don't say that. There's nothing weird about this. If you say so... It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. It makes me feel that nothing has really changed between us. Don't you think? Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, why is this one button so hard to close? Oh my god. Hey, be careful. This isn't possible. Does this thing even fit you properly? It did, when I bought it. You know, if you actually button it, you'd probably have realized sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. Wait, what's so funny? <laughs> Don't you see? It means my boob... What can I say? I mean, yeah, <laughs> sure. How on earth am I meant to reply to that? Yeah, how do I reply to that? What the hell? Uh, geez, Sayori, don't say that out loud. Anyway, you look a bit better now. Seeing Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that is weird. Uva, it's so stuffy. I told you. She quickly unbuttons it again. There goes all my hard work. Much better. Thank you for that, though. Even though I prefer the blazer unbuttoned, it was really thoughtful of you to do this for me. Even if you were a bit of a meanie. I do try, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, I just want what's best for you, that's all. Just try to give yourself a bit more time in the morning, okay? Only if you promise to stop napping in the club. No, this is gonna be my napping club, okay? My napping club. I love, she got me there. It's a deal, handshake emoji. Uh, handshake emoji, wait, why did I say it again? Okay, everyone, Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! I can't wait to read yours, Preston. Don't expect too much, Sayori. By the way, you did remember to write a poem, right? Don't worry, I'm not that much of a slacker. I've got it right here in my bag. I raffled from my stray's papers to pull out the page that I wrote my poem on. While I can't help but feel a little nervous, I have to admit that I'm excited now. Talking to these girls has really calmed my nerves and now I'm just eager to share my poem. After all, judging by each girl's personality, I doubt that anyone would say anything nasty about it. Well, Natsuki. I don't know if she's... be dully harsh though. She just seems like the type of person who enjoys ribbing on her friends. Either way, I hope they realize that I put hard work into it. I figured that it'd only be fair to repay their warm welcome by showing effort in club activities. Now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf, torn from a spiral, spiral notebook, I can word. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a neat black composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwork from where I sit. She's going to put us all to shame. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. <sighs> And that's where we're gonna end it today! <laughs> I, I don't know how long this is gonna be, but because it's four characters, I assume this is gonna take a decently long time. So, let's do it the next episode. And then we'll do all of them. I'm gonna save. Okay, I saved it right here. Okay, that's pretty nice. Okay. So, okay, bye-bye everyone. <laughs> had a great, had a great day today. Please do comment below what you thought of this episode. And what you just think of this mod. If you have already played it or already seen it before, then do tell me your opinions on I thought process. Does that make sense? I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah. Okay, goodbye. Love you.